I've always been very vehemently um, opposed to people leaving South Africa to escape, sort of white people, you know, going to Australia or England or whatever. And I've always fought with them um, and, you know, said, why why do you feel the need to escape, you know? Um, And it was the only time in my life that night I sort of thought I could very easily, you know, go to England now. Whilst many students took to the streets to display their dissatisfaction on the increase of fees in the nationwide hashtag fees must fall protests, online editor at the Orpidon Press, Liam Stout, juggled his roles in student press and student solidarity. But one question haunted him throughout. Where does one draw the line between the two? The, there were a lot of challenges in covering the protest because I think what these protests have done, one of the, one of the outcomes of it is there's, it's, journalists have had to sort of rework, uh, rethink how they work because, um, you know, as a, you're a white journalist sort of talking about black pain and that in itself, it's a fundamental paradox because, you know, you can always get called out on it and you can very easily, as I have done in the past, say, say or do the wrong thing. Although the protest allowed him to exercise and improve on his journalistic skills, he quickly learned that there were more lessons to learn and boundaries to maintain. Earlier in the year there was an incident and it it really, I think it, it happened very quickly and it just came down to miscommunication, I think, in the end. Um, but what came out of that was that the people central to to what would become the protest and you know people in the BSM lost trust in us as a news outlet, um, and that still hangs over us today. Because I was directly involved, um, that was always at the back of my mind. Um, when it happened, it, it was, um, that's when I, I got quite disillusioned with journalism because I thought, it sort of hit me, I was like, why, what can I, what can I add, sort of, as a white male journalist? in a country which really doesn't need those right now. My voice isn't wanted or needed. Critics on social media platforms condemned student journalists for feeding off their pain. However, Stout assures that this was their contribution in the fight against financial exclusion and decolonization. My role was quite, I think everybody's role was quite strange because um, I experienced it as a student as well as, as as a journalist. We all wanted to protest as much as we wanted to cover the protest. Stout and his team were not prepared to compromise on their journalistic principles in the face of active criticism. They were determined to tell and be a part of the story that made history and shaped the future. We got through just just by just by building trust, speaking to people, just being very sort of not not tiptoeing, but just really making sure people knew what we were about, what we were doing, and the fact that we were fully invested in it and we wanted it to succeed. In the end, his decision to stay is one that he does not regret. I never, ever, ever wanted to be leaving because I'm escaping. I, I wanted to leave because it was just the next natural progression of, of my life and my career. Um, and I'm very glad that I stayed doing what I do because then I, I got to be... A, a part of the protest. Piwagutia Mandisa Lamini reporting from Rhodes University, Grahamstown.